Hi everyone, so today I thought it'd be quite cool to do a little comparison video. Um, I've actually been collecting Tsum Tsums now pretty much since they start, well, since they started in the UK. We actually got some from Japan. Ash brought me some back from a trip. And over the years, is it years now? Has it even been years? A year, a couple of years? I started in 2014, so a couple of years now, because we're 2017 now. Um, I've noticed quite a difference in quality and designs, and I do mention it quite a lot in my haul videos, but I thought it might be quite useful um, if someone is getting into collecting or wants to know a little bit more about them to do a direct comparison between uh, ones from foreign parks, from the Japan Disney Store, from the American Disney Store, from the UK Disney Store, from Clinton's. So whenever people are going on about it, mainly me, um, you know what I'm talking about and you know why I get annoyed and don't just think I'm crazy. I mean, you might still think I'm crazy, but at least, you know, you'll have a little bit more of an understanding. So I think I'm gonna start with basically where it all started um, for me in this country, and that is old school UK Disney store. And the reason I say old school UK Disney store is because it does change quite dramatically as we get a little bit more current. Um, so the first one I want to show you is this Eeyore, which is from, oh gosh, I'll find the year for you and put it on the screen but it is from one of the Easter collections uh, quite a few years ago now. And I really like it. Now it's quite simple, um, but the thing that I like about it is the quality is still there. It feels pretty well made. Um, the fabric follows the color the whole way through. The zigzags are stitched down properly. All his feet are the same. He's a nice soft material. Overall, I'm just really happy. I would say this was a reasonably good quality Tsum Tsum and I was genuinely quite happy. And the design obviously leaves a little bit to be desired, but at least the quality was there. So this was one of the very first Tsum Tsums that I got from the UK Disney store. The next comparison I wanna to make to that one directly would be kind of um, the American Disney stores and the American theme parks. And one of the first Tsum Tsums I got as well from the US parks was when we were in Florida and that is um, this Baymax and this is him in his suit. And it's really cool, it's got the pointy out sort of, I don't know what you call, wings, propeller type things at the side. And again, this is another really pretty good quality Tsum Tsum. I'm really happy with this one. I like the design is symmetrical. Nothing's in the wrong place. His eyes are straight. Like it's it's what you would kind of want um, from your product. And it says Disney Parks on the label. So it's a little bit different than what the other one I've got says, the Disney Store. Um, so it's just got a slightly different label on that one. So this one definitely got sold in Hong Kong Disney in the United States Disney Parks and in the Euro Disney. The other one I got from the Disney Parks is Duffy. Um, this one, again, has got a sort of a nicer looking tag than the old one. Also was sold in Hong Kong, the USA and France. And I really like the detail. Duffy, I don't believe you've ever been able to get in the UK Disney stores. I think it's been like theme parks in Japan. And he's got a really cute um, Mickey sort of emblem stick um, stitched onto his bottom <laughs> which is really cute and again these I'm really happy with the quality of these three I think that was when Disney did it its best they didn't release collections so regularly and it meant the quality of them was better um, so the next comparison I really want to compare it them with is current uh, Disney store or like the rubbish Disney store era as I like to call it they just got really bad now, if you compare the three that we've just spoken about to these next two, um, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Now, the difference between those ones and these ones I'm showing you now is these have hair, which is where I, I found the main issue. Um, Maurice, for example, this is a more recent purchase when Beauty and the Beast came out. Um, look at his hair. Like, and that's how he came. Like, I ordered from the website, so this isn't like it's been picked apart in a shop. This has come from their warehouse and it came in a big bag, so I'm kind of really surprised. And it's just things like this that I feel that, you know, it just wasn't thought of as, as much. And his arms, his hands aren't stitched in the right, quite the right places on the back. Um, they're slightly skew with. And I just, it doesn't feel as nice as some of the new ones. I'll give it his face, the stitching on his face is really nice, but I'm just, I think the hair ruins it and it's such a 
big piece of this Zoom Zoom that I just, you know, it just doesn't look great. Similarly with Ursula, I mean, it looks like she's joined some kind of gang and they've shaved all of her head. It's, it's not even sticky up enough. It's just a tuft. There isn't enough hair to fully stick it up. And the bits that there are there don't match really. Um, so she, she has the right amount of feet, which is good. And they are colored correctly on her. But again, I just, compared to what they were like previously, I just am really not happy with the quality of these ones, which is a shame because it's a really cool concept, Zoom Zoom, and they can do so much with it. But I think they've kind of like, I don't know, not phoned it in a little bit, but just because they can release them quicker and know that people still buy them, they've kind of gone for the mass producing rather than necessarily the quality. Now, obviously I have no facts to back this up. This is just my uh, primary research and kind of looking into it myself and my opinion. But I mean, I have a fair few Zoom Zooms to compa compare to. And it's not just these, it's, a, it's something I've been noticing for a few months, if not years now. And yeah, it's just, it's annoying. <laughs> Disney aren't the only company that sells Zoom Zooms and Clinton's have actually uh, got in on the game and they sell their own version called Posh Paws. They pretty much do the exact same releases as Disney maybe a month or two later and they have one or two that they won't sell in the collection. Um, but apart from that, they're pretty much the same. However, they feel really different. Posh Paws tend to be a lot firmer. Um, they just, they're just a little bit stiffer, the designs can slightly change. And I found also that there's been a lot more issues as well with Posh Balls, like neither of them are great. An example of this is this Goofy that I got from Posh Balls. Um, one of his feet is not the right color. Like he's got three black feet when he should have two white, two black. And it's just things like that that annoy me. I didn't actually notice when I picked it up, so I suppose this is my own fault, but I just want the quality to be there and it's just not. Um, so yeah, that's kind of why I'm not a huge fan of Posh Paws. I actually, even though I Disney Store have been getting a bit worse, I do prefer the Disney Store products just because I prefer they're a bit softer and a bit squidgier. I now just tend to return the ones that I'm not really happy with the quality with and only keep the really good ones that come out with each collection. Because although I am like almost like slagging off some of them, there are occasionally some really good ones in the collections that come out. Like I've just done a massive haul of all my city sets and there's some in there that I really, really like. But at the same time, there were some that were pretty bad that I sent back. So these are kind of the offerings that we, we get at the UK. Um, and I'm not saying that, oh, you know, I can imagine people were going, oh, if they're that bad, why are you bothering collecting them? Like, if you don't like them that much, stop moaning about it and just stop buying them. So recently I've been buying some from uh, Tokyo and um, Hong Kong and the quality of those have been incredible. And I tell you what, like I really like collecting Tsum Tsums. All I want is just the quality and the design just to be a little bit better. And if they can do it in Tokyo and in Hong Kong, why can't they do it in the UK and the, like, well, yeah, the UK more than the US because the ones I've got from the US have been fine. Um, I want to show you some of the designs that I've got, some of the favorite ones I have because they're really cool and the designs are so incredibly like detailed and the time that goes into them and the effort they're just so so good so the first one i got is my hong kong disneyland zoom zoom and he's an exclusive to hong kong i believe his name's albert the monkey and he is for their tower of terror i believe um he's like the little mascot for that and i love this one the detail in it is so adorable they put like little bits of string on them on his hat and they stitch down his tail so it's in a perfect curl and he just feels really soft and really good quality the material actually feels a lot nicer than the other ones it even feels better than the old school uk disney store ones and i love that he's just a unique design for that theme park i think that's really really cool um so he is a bit more unusual because obviously he's a character for the rides and not necessarily for any films the other three I picked up were seasonal ones from Japan and they do their seasonal specials amazingly. Um, I have two Halloween Tsum Tsums and one Christmas. The Halloween ones I have are pretty much the best things I've ever seen in my entire life. The first one is Pumpkin Mini and it's Minnie Mouse shaped like a pumpkin. She has like the carved out pumpkin face, a little bow 
Um, they've put a little leaf on her back where her tail is and they've stitched a curl in her tail so it stays curled and she's got the lines through her like a pumpkin. I just think this is such a cool idea for a design and I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's really unusual compared to some of the Halloween ones we've had and it's a shame that we couldn't get this one in the UK because I love it so much. The other Halloween one I picked up was a uh, Ghost Scrump. Ghost Scrump is so cute. It's Scrump with like a sheet over her head and there's stars on the sheet and it's really cute. And on her, like her tail or her back, there's a little sweetie. And the really cool thing about this one is even though there's a cover on it, you can lift it and there's still detail there. So if you lift up the, like the cloth cover, you can see her little trick or treating bag is a little pumpkin which is really cute. I really like the detail there. You can even see where the bag kind of goes up the way a sort of a satchel would. And there are little stars on the like sheet itself. And then if you lift up her sort of front cover, they've even bothered to do the face, like the lips and everything, even though it's covered by the sheet. Which I think is a really cool detail because it's bits that you wouldn't necessarily see, but it just adds to the awesomeness of the Tsum Tsum. Now the final one I picked up was a Christmas one. Obviously, you some of you may know that I did get the advent calendar this year from our Disney store and there were some really cool ones, um, but they definitely weren't as cool as this one. And this is another Japanese one and it's Pluto with a snowman on his head. Oh my God, like literally put a snowman on top of Pluto and it's so cute and he's got a bow. And honest to God, this is the softest thing I've ever felt in my entire life. It's amazing. It's so soft. And it's just really unusual. I mean, our um, Pluto Zoom Zoom had a, what was it, a candy cane in his mouth? I can't remember. I need to look and find it. It's in the pile somewhere. But it didn't have a snowman on his head. And it's just like, this is so cool. This is what I want, UK Disney Store. This kind of design because you can't beat how awesome this is. And they do this every year with the um, Japanese ones. They also do one for like the Japanese New Year and just like their Christmas ones came in a reef, which was really cool, as well as having uh, an advent calendar. I really want that. I wish they weren't so expensive to import because I would have them all. But this is another Japanese Disney store one that I have. And these are my favorite Zoom Zooms of all time. And I think that's actually where I'm going to try and continue my collection, going for more like international Japanese ones, because I think the designs are really cool and they're really unusual. Um, but obviously, I, as I said, I will still collect them. I'm just being a little bit more selective about the ones I keep. So if I do order from online, if I'm not happy with the quality, I am now returning them because I know you get what you pay for and they're three pound, but I know they can do a really good job. And I think that's what annoys me so much when I do get the rubbish ones come through now. I'm like, this is so bad. Like I saw people that got the advent calendar that on some days got two of the same Zoom Zoom. So they get like the 15th would be one and then the 25th would be the same one and they'd be missing one or uh, people who had bits that were missing from them or they look faulty. And it's just like, you just really want good quality. And I get, you know, it's, I don't know, it's just really weird. I just feel in this instance with this product that it's now going, let's see how much money we can make out of it every month rather than let's see what awesome sets we can release. Because as by this last set that we just got through, they had so much, I think it totaled to need 200 pounds if you got all of it. That's a lot. And to do that twice a month is ridiculous. Obviously it's working and they're getting a lot of money for it, but I really think they need to up the quality a little bit. I don't think they will now until it becomes a bit less popular. Um, but anyway, this was just my opinion and I just wanted to share and get out there. And I promise I will try and not talk about the quality of my seamstress anymore in my haul videos because I know I'm sounding like a bit of a broken record now. I've got it all out there. This is my little rant about it. This is how I feel. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time for another video. Bye. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and check out one of our other videos which will be appearing on screen now, recommended just for you.